Howdy folks, this is Checkers, back again with another episode of Morris Goes to Oblivion, this time with episode 90, I do believe, and we are here in Battlehorn Castle where we have a mystery to solve. Bit of a rough week for me at the moment, not feeling my best, my mouse is being held together by superglue, it's just been one of those kinds of months, I guess. Anyway, I will turn it over now to Morris, the High Elf. Yes, well, perhaps we can take his mind off this for a while. Let's go see if we can't uncover a mystery. So, we know we have a secret room in our boudoir, as it were. As the Bretons call it, I believe. Let's see what's inside. We have some potions. There's a journal, or there was, Lord Jaren's journal. We shall read once more. I hope I have done well. I don't know. Perhaps I should tell the others, but what hope would they have then? I will have to tell Kelvin one day, when it is time for him to assume the lordship of the castle. He at least may forgive me, as I am his father. I must collect my thoughts. Lord Cain returned last night while the others were gone to the city. Thank Onzi, it was only myself and Garridan, faithful friend. I have sworn him to secrecy. He was only too happy to let me take responsibility for what we did. Later, I am more resolved than ever that the others must never find out. They must never know what Lord Cain has become our liege lord. We sacrificed everything for him. I will set it all down here clearly so that others may judge whether I have done right or wrong. When Garridan woke to tell me that Lord Cain had arrived, I was overjoyed at first. Garridan's grim face soon warned me that all was not well. But he would not tell me what was wrong, only that Lord Cain was accompanied by Ariel Girard, a named to freeze the blood, a Breton battle mage of sinister reputation in Laneland. Lord Cain was waiting in the great hall with Ariel Gerard. He was heavily cloaked, unsurprisingly, as it was a foul night, but I wondered why he had not removed it upon entering the castle. I greeted Lord Cain warmly, ignoring his companion for the moment, but when he spoke it was only haltingly, and with a grating edge that I had never heard before. "'Where are the others?' was all he said. Ariel Gerard quickly intervened, explaining that Lord Cain was unwell and needed a place to rest. By the time Cain was abed, I was fully alarmed. He moved like an old man and barely spoke in my presence. He left a foul odor in his wake and remained cloaked until after I left him in my chambers. I then demanded that Ariel explain herself, which she was only too willing to do. Her story was appalling. Apparently Cain had perished in battle shortly after we left, but by her arts she had returned him to life, and now planned to gather an army of knights to resume the war against Baron Shrike. Her eyes glittered with pride as she told me all this. She is so far gone in madness and evil that she actually believed that I would go along with her plan to install a necromantic puppet on the throne of Laneland. For all Baron Shrike's cruelties, he at least is mortal and will one day pass on the rule to an heir. Somehow I was able to hide my shock from Ariel Gerard and pretended to agree to her plan. The other knights will need to have Lord Kane's condition explained to them before they see him, I told her, otherwise the surprise of seeing him may lead some to regrettable actions. Thinking quickly, I suggested that she tend to Lord Cain in the grotto until I had prepared the others. She agreed without suspicion. I wonder if her mind has become disordered by her evil practices. My performance could not have been all that convincing. Once they were inside, I shut them in. With Garridan's help, may Tuwaka have mercy on Lord Cain's soul. As for Ariel Gerard, I wish nothing but endless night on her foul spirit. I've had workmen cover up the doorway. Only a few of the others were ever aware of that passage behind the training room. Luckily, Kelvin was not among them. I'll have to come up with some story to satisfy those who ask about the grotto, or tell them the truth and face 
the consequences. Well, behind the training room, you say? That, I believe, we can achieve. All right, let's, you know, it's not really secret if we leave it open. Now, let's see. As we go down to, well, the training room we did not use in our last elevation. But whose path and position is well worn in mind. If I were behind the training room, I might be here. <laughs> if you're wondering, check as the human has never found this. So let's see what's inside. Wooden door to Battlehorn Castle Grotto. Well, I suspect that anything down here would not be very impressed by steel arrows. So let's make a change. That being done, let us also prepare Didi for deployment, because I'm sure she would just be heartbroken if she missed all the fun. Around the corners we go. Move up a pillar. Apparently it's on the right for secrets and on the left for encasing evil. Well, I do hear skeletons moving about. I see something over there, potentially the shade of Ariel Girard. Let's see if we can't invite this skeleton to play with Dee Dee. And I suppose we can be of assistance if I can hit the thing. Skeleton Dee Dee. It's, it's right there, darling. There you go. Oh, ah, uh, yes, about that. Might be better to have Dee Dee with us. Well, what do we have here? A Varla stone. This ought to be quite the challenge for Dee Dee. What is going on with that skeleton, and why is it still alive? Thank you, Dee Dee. I was just curious. Lord Kane. Apparently that was Lord Kane. Well, who am I to pass up the Dragon Sword of Lanelin and Lord Kane's shield and another Vala stone? Then you must be Ariel. Ariel, meet Dee Dee. Dee Dee, meet Ariel. Well, Dee Dee at least appreciates meeting new people from time to time. Well done, darling. Ariel, let's see what you have. A lich key and a decrepit note. Is that all? Where is your staff? The staff of silence. Yes, I'm sure silencing Dee Dee did entirely so much. Now, if I were a decrepit note, where would I hide? Ignorant fool. I could have delivered Laneland to him and more, but time is of no consequence to me any longer. While he is growing old, I will be growing only stronger to await the day when I will return to claim my rightful place among the powers of this world. The darkness is not so bad. I come to like it, actually. My companion is not very talkative, but that is just as well. I see now that my procedure was somewhat flawed. The flesh was not fully imbued with life as I intended, but his spirit remains strongly bound. He will provide me with an excellent test subject, as long as I am careful to do no permanent damage. 
Sometimes I awaken and do not know where I am or what I have been doing, how to tell the passage of time here. Why should it matter to me? I believe the change is coming over me quickly now. My lord Manny Marco would be pleased. Deep night darkness, sometimes sleep under moon invisible, howl sweetly, so sweet, my darkness, silence. And another Vala stone. Well, who knew there was such treasure here in the castle? Anything else we need to recover before we check out the dragon sword, was it, of Lanelin and Lord Kane's shield? Yes, there is a chest, very hard, opened with a key. A brass ring, a history of the Fighters Guild, and 21 gold. Well, apparently liches don't get paid well in this era. Up, up, up. Yes, 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 of course. Well, there was a door over here at one point, but no longer. All right. And uh, so we ascend. And our thanks to the voices who helped us find... all that was missing. Now, let's see what we have achieved. The Dragon Sword of Lanelin, blade one-handed, 36 weight, 9 damage, fire damage 15 points on strike, absorb fatigue 18 points for 5 seconds on strike, and Lord Kane's shield. Heavy armor light for 10 feet on self-constant effect. And two Vala stones. Just checking for any more secret. Secrets. Let's go back to Steel Arrows. Put our weapon away. Two torches. Well, I suppose that would have been handy, but who doesn't like to walk into a creepy dungeon filled with undead? in the dark, in Frostfall. I mean, tis the season. All right. And... back to the castle we go. We can put a few things away. Hello! Hello! Hmm. Interesting. Let's head here and put some of our newly found toys away. The bow of burning, we can put that away for now. The dragon sword of Laneland, we're going to put that away. I'd like to take a closer look. Staff of Dispel, put that away. Staff of Silence. I suppose we could sell. And... Oh, let's see here. Lord Kane's shield. Well, we do... Do we still have a shield? We do, on occasion, carry them. Hmm. Might be worth actually hanging on to. Never hurts to have a constant light source. Well, let's put this... We'll offset some of the weight with this dagger of shocking. And... Oh... I suppose we could probably get away without the eyes of Akatosh and just use... spell work to get around it. 
199, that's close to 200 weight. Not too shabby for just some walking around room. Now that we've done all of that, we still have, well, the gray fox doing nothing. But, you know, the idea of just loitering around the Imperial City is not as, well, attractive as they might think. Actually, let's go upstairs. Have a bit of a night's rest. We'll head to Coral to sell that Staff of Silence. Truly, a Staff of Silence could be quite useful at times, but I will never remember to use it. Let's go with... Oh, nine hours to be safe. Rashida has a visitor occasionally in her shop. Not that we're going there, but... The fear is, they occasionally get into fights, and, uh, well, oh. I've actually had to resurrect Rashida once already, so it would be quite a pity to have to continually resurrect her, because they can't get along at night. Let's head for the south gate. I think if we come into the city late enough in the day, they've already Who will help in the avoided back? their... Oh, I'll help Either. you, old beggar. Buckingham. Yes, yes, of course. Thank you, kind sir. Of course. Now, Blessings let's go mine. see our friends here in a northern goods and a trade. About a staff. Hello, Sidneus. Of course it is, darling. It's me. Have a look at my way. Uh, one moment, I, I did forget something. Bye. Just a little bit of magic to brighten our day. I will never forget. Of course you won't, dear. What can I interest you in? Well, it's more what I can interest you in. Really, you have no interest in staves. I would have thought. Well. 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 Had not expected that. I do believe there is some use for the Varla stones. Before we sell anything, let's check this. Just to take a chance. I'm going to sell one. You got a great deal. Let's see there. if that triggers anything. Otherwise we'll hold on to the other two. Thank you for your patronage. And a thank you. Invest five hundred gold. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Actually. Well, but... I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. That is tempting, isn't it? Training... Alanir. Wait, what? Travel to the Imperial City and speak with Palaniria. Uh, yes, of course, dear. Um, but... Oh, I why not? I will gladly let you invest in my shop. The extra coin will allow me to purchase more goods from adventurers such as yourself. And we make Can I an investment in, some in our future. Thank you so Take much, care. dear. You as well. I'll be sure to come and grace you with my presence again in the future. Try, try to be patient until then. Rashida, darling, you're alive. I hope I can help. Ah, one moment. Good day. It certainly will Good be. Good day. It is, of course, because I am here. Let's do business. Well, we can give it a whirl. How would you like a staff of silence? An excellent bargain. Of course it is. Ah, uh, anything else we wish to... Hmm... No, I think for now that will be quite enough. Tell your friends about me. Of course, and try to stop yourself from telling your friends about me. I know. Murderously difficult, isn't it? If I can't fix it, it ain't broke. Well, on the plus side, that is something we can actually fix ourselves. And so we shall... All right, where are we in skills, anyway? Having just leveled... 
Armor 38, Blade 50 is quite close. Mercantile is not doing too bad, Light Armor, but what about the more important skills? Yes, I know, strange, but all of our important skills are not our primaries. This helps us to usually control our leveling so that we can evenly raise our primary statistics. Conjuration is doing quite well. I don't know that we are in a position where we can finally cast some of our trickier spells, but no. The Zivili has some time to go. There's another one. Apparently we didn't pick it up yet. Anyway, now that we are discovered of our Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to find this person. And it is the Imperial City, so there's a very, very tiny chance that the Grey Fox will do something while we're here. No one hold their breath, but... In divine elegance, you say? Hello, Palanira. Good day. Of course it is, darling. I'm here. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure. Yes, yes, of course. Ah, uh, what do we have that you might be interested in? Jewelry. And of course, the robe of glib tongues. But if we wanted training. Training? Well, my dear. Good business sense is just something that comes naturally to me. You've got to have the know-how or else I can't teach you anything at all. Do you have what it takes? Do you even know what it takes? Does it take a day drop? Gold, that's what. Septims and lots of them. Show me that you've got the starting capital. At least 10,000 in liquid assets. 10,000, you say? Well, Farewell. I suppose we could spend the rest of the time looting the Imperial City. But, let's see what else we can find. Glathia, no. Oh, right, Orin. Forgot about you, Orin. Sorry about that. Forgettable fellow, Orin. Let's head down to the um, shacks of coral. And speak with Orin. Please join me. All right. A pleasure to speak with you. Of course it is, Dunmer. It always is. I was told you might have something along the lines of duties for me. These certainly won't be official duties. Fact is, you'll likely be expelled from the guild if Valena gets wind of the fact that you're here. And I've already been expelled. Doesn't mean I'm done, though. I'm taking down the Blackwood Company, and I want your help doing it. Excellent. Let's do it. To bring them down, I need more information. My sources tell me they're trying to expand, and they've set up camp in Glade Mist Cave. I want you to go there and capture Ajum Kajin, one of their leaders. Bring him back to me. I'd like to spend some time talking to him. Excellent. Tell me about Ajum Kajin. He's the one in charge of this expansion. I know he's a high-ranking member of the group. An Argonian mage, from what I hear. All right, then. Well... Go get him. We certainly shall. Dee Dee doesn't have to bring back all the pieces, does she? Just the ones that talk? Now, if I were... Who was it? Ajum Kajin, where would I hide? Glade Mist, we have not found. Well, then it looks like we're off on an adventure. Let's head out the north gate. Hello, doggies. Where... 
Where exactly? Ah, yes. I see. A coin for an old All right. A sure, moment. sure. Yes, yes. Here you go. Thank you, kind. Of course. Blessings of the shadow upon you. Well. Fascinating blessing. But certainly one I will be happy to take. Ah. The wind through the trees. The grace of my Ultima presence to these mere mortals. Truly. A lovely day for them all to be alive. At least for a few minutes longer. Dear frolicking. Yes, of course, whatever. Oh, right. Well, if we want to trade with the bear, we'll be doing fine. But if we want Dee Dee to have some exercise, we might need to do this. Oh ho ho. Playful bear. Shake it off, Dee Dee. And. Well done, Dee Dee. Sorry, bear, but that really was poorly chosen. Oh, look, a new playmate. Didi? I suppose we can find something to play with ourselves. We don't... Well, we have rock shatter. Let's shatter some rock. Thank you, Didi. Nothing much on you. What about your silver war hammer? Oh, for now, I suppose we can take it with us. All right, let's put rock shatter down. Blade mist cavern, was it? Oh, quite a ways. Well, we have a lovely walk through the Cyrodiilic countryside. You know, from here, it does look somewhat like a walrus or hawker. Let's see. What? No bounty. Good. Good to know. A boar, you say? Well, hello there, Imperial. Yes, don't mind us. Oh, Imperial, do be careful. If you strike Dee Dee, she might take offense. You would not want that. Well, you were not doing nearly as well as the Khajiit. Let's see. Do we want to cut off road? Oh, I don't know. You never know. There might be something else more fun. More bandits to entertain with Dee Dee. Or, well... More bandits to entertain Dee Dee with. Well, something is looking for Dee Dee. Another bar. As I believe the humans call them. Well, Dee Dee apparently has gotten better at dealing with bars. Excellent. Come along, dear. Oh, you can play with it if you want to. She takes such joy in carcasses. Bless her little heart. Well, this one apparently met a bar as well. There you go, Dee Dee. I will search the corpse. Dwarven bow. Fascinating. More steel arrows. Always welcome. And that's about it of interest. Oh, no bar. There you go. Well, the archer or bandit or whoever did get off at least one. Well, it is just bar season, is it not? No, no, I don't know. The human word is just too strange. Bear sounds much better. Or Urson. <laughs> Dee Dee does so love to entertain. 
Yes, that was how things actually get bitten. Well done, darling, well done. Oh yes, give you a little rub under the chin. Yes, it always makes her melt almost instantaneously. Now, let's see where we left. What was it? Glade Mist Cavern, wasn't it? A boar. Not sure if boars are aggressive. Boars apparently are aggressive. Foolish, but aggressive. Well, Didi is not having any trouble handling the highways of Cyrodiil. Oh, that's a lovely spot. Look at that. Just beautiful. Quite idyllic. You know what we should do? We should probably stop here, and we will attain the Glade Mist Cavern when next we meet. But this is a perfect place to rest, to let Dee Dee wash up a bit, and to end our journey. For the moment, I would like to say thank you so much for joining Dee Dee and I and Checkers the Human. We hope that you found the video entertaining and maybe even just a little bit informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe to Checkers the Human and thank you kindly if you are already subscribed. I'd also like to invite you to like and to share if you so desire. Most of all, though, I would like to ask you to please, please, Take care.